Okay, now in this video, I'm not gonna give you a couple of ways that you can use to make money with Photoshop. The good thing about this is you don't have to be really professional. It can be even if you're just starting out or you're learning Photoshop and you're trying to make some money with Photoshop itself. So I'm not gonna rank these like the best one first and the worst one last. I'm just doing this randomly because I want you to watch the whole video so you know all these methods that I'm still using and I don't have to work like nine to five job or something. I can do everything at home and I'm happily ever after. Make sure to check out my Instagram because I upload a lot of work there that I don't upload on YouTube and it can give you inspiration for creating designs yourself and working in Photoshop. At the end of this video, I'm explain to you how I make money with Instagram, but while creating digital art. So basically I'm just having fun in Photoshop, upload it to Instagram and I get paid for it. And I'm explaining exactly at the end of this video. So I suggest you watch the whole video so you know everything that you need to know. And don't forget, you can never rely on one source of income. You all always have to have like a couple sources of income because if one don't work, you also have another one and that one can work. And if you have different sources of income, you can have more money. The only thing I ask in return is to like this video. All right, now the first one is your friends. Yes, your friends, you can make money with your friends. I'm sure you have a couple of friends and I'm not talking about friends on Facebook or Instagram or something, just friends that you know in real life. Because when you have friends in real life, they will trust you better than something you meet online. I'm sure your friends are humans and they have birthday and birthday parties every year. And what you can offer is you can tell them, hey, look, you have a birthday party. Are you going to celebrate it? Can I make a flyer for your party so you can send it to your friends as an invitation? And of course they want it because they want to look professional. They want to have a cool party and nobody wants a, wants a cheap party without an invitation or trying to call everyone and come to my party or something. So you can offer them to create a birthday invitation, like a birthday flyer for, for digital or maybe they use post. I don't know. People do people still use post like post office things. Anyways. You can ask like a little bit of money. You can even do it for free. So people know you are a designer in Photoshop and you can create stuff like that. And the good thing about it is you can also offer them to print it. There are a lot of printing offices that just print really cheap and not many people know about these offices. I'm still earning money from that. So every time I create like a flyer for someone, I tell them, hey, look, I can print really cheap for you if you want. You don't have to do anything. I will do everything for you. I will create a design and I will print for you. And only thing you have to do is just send me the information and pay me for it. And they get the flyers or, or posters or invitations, business cards, whatever they want. They just get it in the mail and they don't get the receipt. They don't know how much I paid for it. And I maybe pay like 50 bucks for it and I charge 100 bucks for it from the clients. The only thing I have to do is place an order online and I earn 50 bucks just for placing an order online. And that's the way you can earn some extra money from just designing and after that you also deliver the product. Right, next one is WordPress websites. You can buy a website as cheap as $50 and a website for $50 is really professional. So you have everything you need for $50. You buy this website from Team Forest and what you can do is you can sell that to a client, but don't just buy a website and try to find the client. First, find your client that wants a website. And when they want the website, you can charge a couple hundred bucks for it. And everything you have to pay for it is just the 50 bucks for the template. So once you have the template, you get a document with uh, with instructions and how to install it. It's really easy. It's not difficult to learn WordPress. I don't even learn much. I just spent like one day playing around with WordPress and I know exactly how it works. And some of these templates also have video tutorials included. So you just watch the video and do exactly like they do. And that's the way you can build one whole website in one day. And you can create one website in one day and you can sell it for a couple hundred bucks to a client. The only thing you have to do is you have to create like maybe some little designs, images that you include in a website or maybe edit the pages a little bit like the client wants. But it's really easy and it doesn't even require Photoshop Photoshop skills. I suggest you try it out to make a website for yourself. So once you have your own website, you can create websites for clients and put them in your portfolio. So you can show people, hey, look at this. I can make websites like this. Do you want one? I just charge like a couple hundred bucks. And normally when you go to a design office, you will pay a couple thousand bucks for it. So it's really cheap for clients. So it's like a win-win. All right, next one on my list. And this is probably the favorite one for me because I have been doing this for over 15 years now and I'm still having clients that I started out 15 years ago. They are still coming back for me for new work. And that is creating flyers, posters and 
like digital designs for events. Maybe it's because I lived in the Netherlands and they have a lot of parties there. So once I started doing this, they will tell other other event organizations, hey, look at this. This guy can make really cool flyers and it's not expensive. And that's the way I started rolling out to different type of event organizations. So I started with creating like cheap flyers for maybe 50 bucks for a flyer. And the good thing about it is usually they don't only want the flyer. So if you say, all right, I want 50 bucks for one flyer design for your event, they will come back and say, hey, look, I also need a poster for this. And you can say, okay, but it's going to cost extra. So that way you build like a couple of products for one client and you build like this whole thing around it. You can create like posters, flyers, logos for the event and now we have social media, so they want everything for, for Instagram, for Facebook, advertising, all that kind of stuff. The only thing you have to do is create like one design, like one flyer. And after that, they want all, all the rest. And that's really easy. You just copy the design and just make all the other stuff. So you don't have to spend much time, but you can charge money for it for every other design. But I suggest you also can try to do this for free in the beginning so you can earn some trust from people that you don't know. So if you do something for free, they will... Of course they want it because they don't have to pay for it. And next time they're coming back to you and they will think about you because you did it for free. And this time you will say, all right, look, I did it for free last time. Graphic River. Graphic River is a website where you can sell like graphics online. And the good thing about Graphic River is you don't have to promote your products. You just create something and you upload it to the website. I'm still earning money from Graphic River and the last time I uploaded something there was I think a couple of years ago. I don't upload there anymore, I don't have time for it. But especially when you're just starting out, it is easy to start making money online with Graphic River. But basically what I did was I created a bunch of flyers for, for events and I uploaded it to the website and they just do the rest. So once you upload your work to Graphic River, you don't have to do anything anymore. Your portfolio will come into the search results when people search for something. And if your work is good enough, people will buy it. Of course, they charge like a little percentage of everything you sell, but it's better than trying to find someone to sell it on your own website or something because that's really hard to do and I don't suggest you do that. So try out Graphic River. I still have an account there. I earn every month money from it. It's not much, so I don't cash it out. I just use it to buy other stuff. So for instance, if I want a photo from Photodoon, I just go to Photodoon and use the credits from Graphic River. So I never have to pay for every, anything online from Graphic River or Photodoon or even a website from Team Forest or something. Next one that earns me money is with Instagram. And this is like when you create digital art or maybe photography or something like that. You can sell your designs or your photos to people that print canvases or paintings or something like that. When you start working with people like that, that print canvases of your work, they will offer you like, look at this, I will sell your design or your photo on my website and you will get a small percentage of that. Mm -hmm. But I did it in the beginning and it was not profitable for me. So I st stopped doing that and I just tell them directly, look, if you want to sell my work, I just want one price for one design. That way you just earn your money directly instead of waiting till they get customers because you don't want to rely on that. You don't know how good they promote the products. Maybe they just upload to the website and do nothing with it and wait for a client to come. And that's not never going to happen. So you never get money from it. So try to sell your work at once. So for instance, if you have one design and they want to put it on the website and you just tell them, okay, I want this money for it. You can just sell it. I don't want percentage from, from your sales. I just want money from the product. And that's the way it worked for me. And I'm not doing the percentage thing anymore because it's just a waste of time for me and I don't like it that way. So to sum this all up, I suggest you start doing things for free first, especially if you're a beginner and it will help you to build relationship with people, people that's going to trust you and they are, will come back to you if they want something they know about you and they know that you do things really cheap in the beginning. Later on, you can ask more money. For instance, uh, you can ask as a graphic designer, well, between 20 bucks and it goes all the way up above 100 bucks if you're really good at what you do. So those are my ways to earn money with Photoshop and I'm sure you can think of something else. There's a lot of stuff online like you can sell t-shirts and all that kind of stuff but I don't like doing that. I'm just telling what works for me and maybe the other stuff works for you also. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. Yeah.